Welcome back to the Inside Scoop. Marriage is in trouble in America. I don't have to tell you that. Increasingly, we have children being born out of wedlock. Even the daughter of a vice presidential candidate is pregnant without being married. Increasingly, in African American communities, you find that a lot of children are born to single mothers. Marriage is in trouble. And there's a reason why marriage is in trouble. There's a reason why divorces are on the upswing. There's a reason why it's so hard for people to stay married. It's because we don't protect the sanctity of marriage. We don't respect marriage anymore. We let anyone get married. Yes, we even let people who practice a perverted, unnatural lifestyle to get married as if they were normal. I'm talking, of course, about the Southpaw. The Southpaw. The left-hander. Those unnatural people that don't form the majority of human beings, but practice the sinister hand, that use the left hand as if it were as good as the right. When we know from human history, from Western civilization, from the church, from even Japanese civilization, that left is wrong and right is right. I'm not making this up. You don't believe me? Look up your history books. Some of you have been so trained by the leftist agenda, you may not even know the history. You may not even know that sinister means left. Sinister. Sinister is a word of wickedness. It means left. You may not know that dexter, dexterous, means right. This is from the Latin. I'm not making this stuff up, folks. And because left-handed people are getting married as if they were normal, as if they are right, more and more children are being taught the left agenda. They're being taught that left means right. And then you ask yourself, why are there hurricanes on the Gulf Coast? God is angry. He's angry because we're allowing these perverted, unnatural people, these left people, to get married. I mean, it's not just gay people that want to get married. Left-handed people have been getting married for almost a century now, possibly even longer, sometimes right under our own noses. I understand we have a caller on the line, Javier from Fairfax. Welcome to the Inside Scoop. Uh, hi. Um, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just curious. Um, are you really serious? What do you mean? Like, do you honestly believe like, left-handed people are, are sinners? Well, that's, Western civilization, Javier, has taught this for generations. I mean, you sound young. You may not have known about this practice. But well into the early 20th century, children were taught they have to use their right hand, not their left hand. This is not something new I'm making up. Sinister does mean left. Look it up. Okay, so you think all these left people are perverted, right? They're unnatural. There's a reason why the majority is right-handed. Oh, uh, okay. Because, um, I mean, this seems kind of crazy to me. Um, why? Uh, I, don't, I don't really see them as, uh, I don't They're know. They're unnatural. Normal people are, are you right-handed or are you left-handed, Javier? I'm right-handed, but um, okay. a person born with, um, I don't know, a certain kind of disability is unnatural too, but I'm not going to. Well, I agree. It's a disability. I accept that. It's like alcoholism or being blind or being deaf, but people can be taught. For example, dyslexia, right? You can teach people not to be dyslexic. You can teach a left-hander to use their right hand. In fact, 100 years ago, virtually everyone born with this malediction was taught to use the right hand, right? Yeah, I, I guess so, but um, I, I just, uh, you're just not really hitting me here as um, these left-handed people as, as major sinners. I mean... Well, it's taught, it used to be taught in every church. Now, I realize that churches today are becoming more and more liberal. They're following the liberal elite. They're reading things like the New York Times. Fewer and fewer churches are persecuting left-handed people, but that doesn't make it right. Just because, you know, the liberal elites say it's right, that doesn't make it right. Um, do right is right. Uh, do you think these um, left-handed people pose a threat besides... Um, sure they do. Besides morally? Do you want them teaching your children? Do you want your children to grow up thinking that they can use machinery the same way if they're left-handed or right-handed? You can't. There are scissors. Most scissors are for right-handed people. When you drive a car, it's on the right-hand side of the road. If you write with your left hand, the ink smears. It's an unnatural perversion, and we can teach people no longer to be left-handed. Um... Okay. Javier, uh, let me ask you this. Okay. Do you yeah. support the right of gay people to get married? Excuse me? Do you support the right of gay people to get married? Um, actually, I oppose that. You oppose that? Yes. Why? I mean, there's nothing... What, what's the difference between being gay and left-handed? You, you think left-handed people should get married, even though they practice an unnatural perversion, 
but gay people shouldn't? I'm confused. Uh, uh, well, uh, What's I mean, the difference? Okay, well, it's a man and a man, not a man and a woman. Right, and a left is a left and not a right is a right. I know, but this is a more more serious basis. Like, What's more serious? Oh, uh, you think uh, trying to prosecute left-handed people is gonna uh, really the, that gonna, is gonna solve the problems in the world? It won't solve all the problems in the world, but it's a start. If we enforce morality now, it'll be a start. Do you think that preventing gay people from marrying will solve all the problems in the world? No. No, but it's an important morality issue, and I think this. Uh, well, but so is this, Javier. Western. It's not just Western civilization. In Japan, if you eat chopsticks with your left hand, you are shunned. We have to teach our children to be ready for the 21st century. <laughs> We're not Japanese, man. Uh, We're American, and in America, they and, and, and they used to be taught. I'm not making this up. A hundred years ago, you would be slapped on the hand if you used the wrong hand. Yeah, I guess, but, but I mean. Here, there's so many different people from so many different cultures. I mean, there's so many things going on. I don't think people are going to care if their son or the neighbor is going to be left-handed or not. They won't care? But they can't live in normal, natural society. Um, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure there's some left-handed people, like, in my school, but I... I Listen, I, I there don't... are probably gay people in your school, but you would deny them the right to marry, right? Yeah. If you could deny them the right to marry, you could deny left-handed people the right to marry. These are unnatural minorities, and they should be stamped out. Look, I'm not saying kill them. I'm just saying don't allow them to teach our children that being left-handed is okay. That's what gay people want to do, and it's wrong too, isn't it? Um, yeah, but still, the seriousness of each problem, I think, is far... What's the difference? It's, it's just... It's just... All right, okay. I'm going to go to another caller. Javier, I want you to think about what the difference is, because I don't see it. If you think about it, you write it on my website at RadioInsightScoop.com. Javier tries to make a distinction between left-handed people and gay people, but I don't really see the distinction. I mean, gay people don't usually propagate, right? They don't usually give birth to gay people. They give birth to straight people. But left-handed people are more likely to have left-handed children. They are more of a threat to our society than gay people. I'm just saying teach our children that right means right and left is wrong. California voters decided by a simple majority, 52 to 48, that gay couples couldn't marry. And they decided they couldn't marry for the same reasons that I've proposed about left-handed people. All right? They've decided that the majority determines morality. Californians decided they could take two people they don't even know and destroy their marriages take their children away from them, as they did in Arkansas and Florida, because they are different. Californians understood that being gay is like being left-handed. It is something that is not usual. It is something that only affects a minority. Yes, it's in every human species. But who is to say that just because something is a variation that makes it normal? A minority is by definition wrong. If you were right, you would be in the majority. Right makes right. And in a democracy, you have every right to punish a minority. Now, California said no. The California court said no. Californians have equal protection under the laws. They said you have to treat gay people like straight people and left-handed people like right-handed people and blacks like whites. And once you do all that, where are we? What's left with democracy? There are some that would argue the Constitution prevents a democratic majority from doing their will. That's ridiculous. The majority is always right. Just as in the 1960s, in Jim Crow laws, the majority of Mississippians said, blacks can't vote. That's democracy in action. And blacks got mad. They said, no, 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 we think we should vote too. Why? To treat blacks, to give them equal rights, would be like treating left-handed people and right-handed people the same. It'd be like treating gay people and straight people the same. It'd be tre like treating all Americans the same. And does that make any sense? I mean, it would be as if someone wrote in some founding document that all men are created equal. So if you, like Javier from Fairfax, support denying gay people marriage, I ask you to join with me in my campaign to make sure that those leftists, those gauche, those maladroit, those sinister, those that use the left hand, those unnatural people are punished the same way. Because as Martin Niemöller once said, if we stand up for one, we have to stand up for the other. And is that really what America is all about? I don't know. If you want to comment on my show today, go to my website, RadioInsideScoop.com. I want to hear from you, RadioInsideScoop.com. This is Mark Levine, signing off.